Hello, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the van and today I'm in the van again It's a lousy day outside drizzly rain and what I'm going to do is show you why I chose the CV40 over any other of the vans in the CV range Okay, now the CV range has some beautiful vans the 20 the 40 the 60 and the 80 The 80 being a four berth with a pop top the 20 and the 60 are two berth vans which leads me to the 40 Part of the charm of the CV40 for me was it came with a third bed, a single bed that you could make up from a combination of the dinette seating area here, the dinette table here, and the driver's seat. Now what I'm going to do is show you how that's set up, give you the measurements, and hopefully um, it'll give you some kind of insight which may help you to decide on whether the CV40 is for you. What I was going to say is somebody's asked me if I could do a demonstration on how to set up the third bed in the CV40 because I think it it could be a deciding factor for anyone who's looking for one of these CV vans um, to decide whether they go for the 20 or the 40 or the 60 or the 80. The 20, I really like the, the layout of the bed in the 20 because I think you, you get that little bit more length and I think that if you're a taller person and there's only two of you, the CV20 just makes perfect sense. In the 40, you sleep widthways. I think it's transverse, but you sleep widthways anyway. Um, and widthways, it measures about six foot three. Now, if you're any taller than six foot three, you're gonna struggle sleeping widthways unless you curl up in a little ball. If you're a taller person, and there's only the two of you, you may want to go for the CV20 or the CV60. Now the CV60, I think it's got one of those French style beds where it's sort of a, it's cut off on one corner if you like. But I think uh, Elders are missing a trick with the CV40 because I think it would be a very popular option to have the CV40 with a fixed bed at the back, even though it is widthways. For your shorter person, it's not going to matter. So if you're sort of like me, um, I'm five foot ten. Uh, now for for, for me, five foot ten sleeping in a six foot three bed, I fit in perfect. Um, so it's no problem at all. And Julie's shorter than me, so no problem for either of us. So when you're looking at the CV range and you want to choose which van is right for you, this third bed may well be a factor what i'm going to do today is show you the third bed i've got the cushions here look this is the infill cushion and as you can see it's still in the plastic packaging i've never took it out of the packaging i've never set it up before okay it comes with this as well which is a mattress topper again still in the packaging we're going to see if we can figure out how to set up this third bed now because as i say it may well be a factor on your decision making when it comes to buying a cv van if there's three of you and one of you is very short then you can you can fit into this bed what i'll do is i'll get the camera into a position where i think you can see everything and then uh, we'll crack on i'm going to start off by swiveling this seat around okay so there you go that's the seat swiveled around okay now what i do is push that seat all the way back as far as it goes that way you're giving yourself the maximum length for this single bed by pushing that seat back okay to get this bed set up what we need to do is drop this table down now if i take this off you'll see that there's two runners on the wall here the top runner is when it's in the dinette position and the bottom runner is when you want to be in the bed position so to put it in the bed position I'll show you the bottom of the table now so you can see it clearly. Okay, that's showing you the bottom of the bed. These two little feet here are going to hook over this bottom runner. And to do that, we're going to drop this table leg down. I'll show you that. There's a little button here on the side of the table leg. If you push that in, that falls to 90 degrees and that's going to form the leg of your bed. You then turn this table back over and those two little hooks there are gonna hook onto that bottom rail. Now I'll lift this out the way because it makes it a lot easier to see and do. Okay, so you hook that onto there like that, just hooks on and there's your, there's the base of your bed. So we've rotated the seat, we've put the table in the bed position. The next thing is your infill cushion, okay? Now, I haven't took the plastic off this, but I will take the plastic off just because I think it's going to sit in there better. So that's the plastic off that, and that is your infill cushion. From the diagram in the manual, it goes in that way. Okay, so 
as you can see, it's starting to form a bed rather than a table. The next thing is this infill cushion. Now this infill cushion, I find fills, and, and it shows you this on the, the, the diagram as well of setting up the bed. That fits into there and that takes away the dip that would be where you sit in the driver's seat. And now for the memory foam mattress. So your memory foam mattress obviously has a cutout here that matches the diagonal bit on your infill cushion. So we know which way that goes. That'll sit on there and sit on top of that cushion. And you can wiggle it around and adjust it to get the best position for you. What I've found with this is, now I don't know whether you can see this, but this mattress is actually longer than the seating arrangement. So when you put the infill mattress in, or the memory foam topper in, in the position, it indeed makes up a, a small single bed. But this bit here, and I thought there was a couple of lumps there, look. It's the seat belts. The seat belt buckles, you push down through there. Otherwise that would be very uncomfortable. Yeah, and that's that. Now, this bit is obviously to stop your head being uncomfortable, so that's going to be the length of your bed. Okay? Now, this comes with a couple of straps, and I've found, and I don't know what this bit here is for. So if anybody can tell me what this piece of Velcro here is for, then please do. Because I can't figure that out. These straps here, they're on the back of the memory foam topper, they go under the cushion okay and they come up and there's two velcro strips on the back of this cushion i'll show you that now there's two velcro strips there and if you feed that underneath and then pull the strap up the back here and fasten it to that velcro i think that is to hold that mattress in place okay because that's what it seems to do so if we do the second one so we take the strap and we feed it down through where the seat belt buckles go and up from the back and pull that up and fasten it to the top of there. Now that is the only thing I can find that has Velcro on it to fasten to that. Okay, so I think that's that in place. As I say, if I'm wrong, please do let me know. But that's the way I think this is set up. So as you can see, there's the bed set up, the single mattress is on there, and then what you could do is either put a sleeping bag on there, or you could even throw a sheet over there if you wanted to, I suppose, with a quilt, but probably probably a sleeping bag would be the best. Um, now, hopefully that, that would stay in place. I can't lie on there because I'm five foot 10, and I can tell you now that isn't five foot 10. But I'm gonna get a tape measure and measure it and tell you what the maximum length person would fit in there um, so you're looking at 146 centimeters from end to end which is uh, just on it's it's about it's about four foot ten it's about four foot ten um yeah 146 centimeters now at the widest part of that mattress you're looking at uh 58 centimeters 58 centimeters which is about 1 foot 11 inches i think it's supposed to be two foot wide that that's at the widest part now the widest part goes all the way down to where the cutout is on the infill there that you can see and then the narrowest part of that bed is at the bottom where your feet would be and that is 43 centimeters okay so that's a single bed and look i'll try and squeeze into it for you so here we go this is me. Now, imagine I'm a really small person. I mean, I'm a really slim person, but imagine I'm shorter than I am in this video. Now, oh, 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 yeah. See you in the morning. It's actually, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have said you'd get the most comfortable night's sleep on that bed, to be honest. But it does, it does work as a single bed, you know, as a, as a, yeah, as you can see from the, as you can probably see from the video there. It does work as a single bed. Um, and there you go, I'll give you another look there with a the pillow on. 
it makes up a single bed, arguably. Now we've seen how this bed goes together and how the infill cushions work. I couldn't find anywhere on YouTube that showed you how this bed is actually set up. So hopefully this will be helpful to someone and it may help them decide on whether the CV40 is for them or not. I just thought it would be a helpful video for you to see. The instructions aren't very clear and it's it's a lot of trial and error until you think you've got it right. And I think this is the right way to do it. So please do correct me if I'm wrong. I'm, I'm open to criticism as long as it's constructive criticism. I'm gonna take the pillow off now, throw that over the back see how long this actually takes to take apart and it won't take long and uh, again putting the back together is exactly the same so here we go i'm going to put this on here just so you can see the whole procedure so there's the memory foam mattress what i'm going to do is i'm going to take the velcro straps off the back so they'll just come out of there and pull out okay so i'll roll that up yeah so if you roll that up that way then the velcro straps will fasten onto there and that keeps that memory foam rolled up nicely okay so we'll put that to one side infill cushion straight out okay so that's the infill cushion out The smaller infill cushion that goes on your driver's seat, that comes out. The table will now go back into its dinette position, which just lifts off the bottom rail, drops onto the top rail, and then you press the button at the side of the leg and drop that down into the table position. That locks into place. The table's back to normal. Julie's plant goes on before she complains. There you go. Oh. Sack the juggler. Now, fortunately, Julie wasn't around to see that I've just dropped them, but I've put them all back in. She'll, she'll never know. Don't mention it to her. Okay, so I'll stick them back on there. And there you go. Now, all that remains is for me to, and I must clean this driver's seat. So that's because my German Shepherd keeps getting on the seat and sitting on there when I get out to fill up with fuel or anything like that. So, I'm then going to swivel that back round, lock it into place, happy days. That's how quick and easy it is to set up this single bed. Now that may be, that may help your decision making when it comes to uh, buying one of these CV vans. Things I think that you need to bear in mind is, if you need a third bed, what I would say is the CV 40 is definitely going to be an option for you might not be the perfect solution but it's definitely an option to look at if you're a tall person you're over six foot three then the double bed in the back won't be long enough for you because in the cv40 you sleep width ways and that would be six foot three maximum if you're taller than that you're only going to get a comfortable sleep really if you if you stretch out and lie flat if you go for either the 20 or the 60 because the bed runs the other way or you could go for the 80, which has the pop top, the CV80. Now that's a four berth. So there's a lot of variety there. Now, the reason why I went for the CV40 is because I wanted the third bed, but only for my grandson, which is a small child. So there's no real need to have a long bed in there. And that would certainly be sufficient for him. That third bed, if you need it, is definitely an option for you. Something to think about. I've given you the measurements, given you the details, showed you how to set it up. It's not complicated so i hope this video has been helpful if not entertaining in some way watching me puffing and panting trying to get this all put together i'll now need to go and tidy up all these plastic bags that i've ripped off the infill cushions but um, i hope this has helped in some small way uh, in your decision making when it comes to buying one of these cv vans i don't know what other three berth vans are out there but this, if you're looking for a three berth van, this could definitely be an option for you. Okay, so thanks very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please consider subscribing if you do like the content of my channel. And I hope to see you again in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.